Don't buy drugs from strangers. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Don't buy drugs, period. <laughs> this is cool. Hi, Bye. everyone. My name is Tamaris Edie with The Nocturnal. And I'm really excited to gain you guys' perspectives on such a highly anticipated film. As someone who's grown up in front of the camera, I'm really curious to know what aspects of your character's personality you found most interesting to explore and what it feels like to branch off into new territory. One thing that my character, that I love about her, that's kind of me as well, like she's just a very driven character. And that's She's very fearless, which I love the most too. Um, so just all those strong aspects of Daisy, I feel like I am as well. Um, we're very opposite too, but it's been great to do different things, branch off and um, kind of do things that people have been waiting for me to do. So it's been a great experience. How did you approach portraying Diamond's adventurous and fierce personality while Those also bringing depth to the character, like which really did translate on screen? There is this sensitivity and vulnerability that comes with like Diamond. That was very interesting to, to show because we when we meet her you know she's like wearing this gorgeous Balmain outfit you know she's like I don't give a single damn about what's going on but then there is a moment when she opens up and and it's really beautiful because you know we, we see it a lot with especially nowadays when we um go on social media and we see like amazing glamorous life but we have no idea what's going on behind the camera and I feel like that is so Wallace, you play writer. She is such a cool girl to me and her athleticism really came across on the screen. Can you tell us about the physicality of your role and if it was comparable to previous action, action sequences that you've done? Sure. Um, so for me, I think having a foundation in action um, and having, you know, kind of like an MMA background with previous projects that I've done was really, really helpful. It made it slightly easier to learn the sequences um, and it meant we got more time to play. Uh, so it was, it, it just became, you know, the fights and all the action stuff just became really fun and, and, and super cool. So yeah, I'm really grateful for that. She rose is set in Thailand. Can you guys talk about the filming location and then how that setting kind of influenced the tone and atmosphere of the movie? <laughs> I think filming in Thailand, you know, like the first day when we woke up at Phuket and we opened our window and there's this gorgeous, you know, sea view. We were like, wow, like, wow. We get to like be in this place and, you know, work. Yeah. And I feel like this set the stone of, yes, we're working. We're obviously making a movie, but we're also here to just enjoy and bond. And, and that just the beauty of Thailand gave this certain oomph feel like you're on vacation the whole time the weather was amazing and then being able to be with these amazing women was just like another bonus on top of that as well so I feel like we just all had it was good vibes good vibes great time and it was a really good month enhanced an experience that was already like the creme de la creme <laughs> there is a very clear message in this movie that women are strong and capable and we know how to kick ass and the most important we can do all of this while still staying authentic and true to ourselves